right, so good morning. We're gonna be doing uh, some uh, full body stuff. Bench press, back workout. I'm gonna do some one arm rows. Probably gonna do some bent over rows. And I'm gonna be doing some squats. Uh, nothing super heavy. I'm still very, very sore in the elbows, especially my right. So, just gonna be seeing where I'm at. Um, this is my first workout back after like two weeks of, uh, of uh, rest, and then obviously the damage of the competition. So, this is just, just see where I'm at, that's all. One thing I wanted to let you guys know is, um, as far as my diet had gone, I started adding a bunch of fruit to my diet, probably close to two cups of fruit a day, blackberries, raspberries, blueberries and grapes and it almost became my snack food anytime I felt like I wanted a snack anytime I felt like I was hungry I eat some fruit didn't think anything of it honestly it was great um, I didn't feel like I wanted to, to snack on garbage it was, it was fantastic problem is at least I think it is and I'm still experimenting with this but this morning I'm down two pounds so it might be um, after I had that intense week of uh, training, you know, Wednesday went and competed in a tournament, Friday or Sunday competed uh, against my team in a round robin, my body had a very weird reaction. I gained five pounds like that. And it was all inflammation, it was all right here. My gut just went like I was completely bloated. Um, I wasn't really nothing in my diet had changed. Now I did alter my my eating habits just a little bit right before the uh, that week. And honestly, it was just to add a couple of hundred calories a day, nothing much. I'm talking like one peanut butter wrap. And all I did was space out the eating over a bigger window. Um, and I had not gained any real weight. I gained, I think, like one and a half pounds for that week. And that was, I attributed it to, I started taking creatine and uh, creatine will have you um, holding more water. After the competition on Sunday, my body blew up and I gained like five pounds overnight. So, uh, and it was all in the gut. Like it looked like I had a huge gut and I'm still, I still have a, quite a bit more than what I did. Um, so that was kind of like, you know, what the hell? I mean, I blew up all the way to like 241 uh, which I had been sitting around 235 to 236 at the heaviest 237 so I mean it, it went up and um, anyway this morning I'm back down to 239 yesterday I was at 241 so uh, yesterday was Monday today is Tuesday or, I'm sorry yesterday was Tuesday today is Wednesday um, I was sitting at 240 and 241 Monday and Tuesday so uh, yeah um, changed up my diet pretty much eliminated the fruit for right now and uh, lost two pounds overnight so uh, I think it was a huge inflammatory response to the uh, extreme stress and uh, I know that fruit can do that because uh, fruit has a lot of natural sugars and uh, which basically are carbohydrates and you know I probably overloaded my system with carbs and didn't realize it and uh, it caused me to have that inflammatory response. Now we'll see, like I told you guys in the last video, we'll see how this experiment works with my diet. But so far, you know, so good. But uh, five pounds of inflammatory response in one day, that was scary. So this is 155 total. Um, not a super amount of weight, but again, my elbows are killing me. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna see where I'm at. The bars are set up, the uh, safety bars are set up so that I don't need a spotter. Um, even if I drop the weight, it'll stop right above my chest. Again, this is just me finding out where I'm at. And of course, tape that one off here. Is it one of these
that didn't feel terrible, but I definitely feel it in the elbows. So we'll see. We'll be back. All right, we're back for set two. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing 10 reps for each one. Again, I'm feeling it out, but uh, we'll see. I guess the bars aren't set up so that it'll hit my chest first, or it'll hit the bars first, but it's close enough. And I don't have collars on the weights either, so if anything does happen, I'll just tip the bar. And it's not super amount of weight either. So, but either way, I'll come back for the last set. Alright, here we go. Definitely feel it in my elbows. Um, especially when I extend my right, I feel it back here, I feel it up in front. There's a lot of damage there. I spent a lot of time sitting like this, so there's a lot of damage in there, but no bruising, which is amazing. Usually I have bruising after a tough match. No bruising. So that's always, that's a good sign. Um, it's a journey, like I keep telling, it's a journey. I'm learning just as much as you guys are. Bent over rows. First time really trying them since uh, I got told just how shitty I did the first time. It's only 135 on the bar, I didn't want to go crazy. All right, still 135 on the bar, not going crazy. It's getting blood flow into the elbows, but it, obviously it still hurts a lot. So, we'll see how this workout feels. Because Friday I want to do the same workout. Um, like I want to be able to do Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays the same way. Um, you know, maybe slight variances as far as the, the rows, but squats and bench presses three times a week. And since I'm not pushing like one rep maxes or super heavy weight, I don't think that'll be a problem. It's more for fitness again. Um, I want to see how it feels, but I definitely want to, you know, repair my elbows. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. I think I'm starting to feel that in my lower back, so maybe I'm bent over too far. Maybe I'm not keeping my core tight enough. I don't know, but hell, maybe my back's just too weak for that. I don't know. Maybe it's the wrong form. I'll figure that out for the next set. Ugh. All right, here we go. to go back and watch the video on that one I didn't feel it in my back but I felt like I was standing up too straight uh, we'll, figure, we'll figure it all out it's all a journey I may just hook up my pulley to the top of the bar and just do regular lap pull downs we'll see all right we are back with squats now this is all the same day it's all the same morning only about five minutes have passed. So, yes, I felt something in my back. It's not like it's injured, but it's, I feel it. So, I'm not gonna go crazy. That's 185 pounds on the bar. Let's see how it feels after the first set. I have the safety arm set up rather high. So, let's we'll see how it goes. set to set two Pretty good. Be back for set three. All right, set three. This will be the last set. I'm still feeling it. Believe it or not, like right here, which is uh, probably L4, somewhere around there. Um, it's not hurting, hurting, but it's there, and I know it's there. So uh, I'm not gonna push it hard. Get this last set out of the way, and then because uh, I would have pushed for five sets, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, Arms are fatigued, but they're not in super, super pain um, like they were when I first started. So that means the blood flow worked, at least to a degree. Um, as far as bent over rows, um, I have to really examine whether or not I want to keep doing those. Um, I'm probably going to switch to one arm supported rows. Uh, that more closely represents arm wrestling anyway. So I'll probably uh, switch over to that in the future and I don't have to put a lot of strain on my back. So, cause I mean, look, even though this is my 
professional debut year and all that stuff uh, as far as arm wrestling goes. I'm not a professional in the strict term of being a professional. This is not how I make my money as far as arm wrestling goes. So uh, I still need to be healthy to put food on the table for my wife and kid. So, uh, you know, I can't take a chance of really destroying my back or something like that. I understand that I take a chance every time I put my elbow on the table, but I, I can't take a chance of blowing out my back to the point where I can't work again for a long period of time. A broken arm I can get around. Um, a, a broken back or, or a slipped disc at this age, I really can't. So I gotta, uh, I gotta weigh all of that stuff, so. If this was the only way I made money, yeah, I'd figure it out. If I was taking a bunch of steroids and, you know, had access to the best medical coverage out there, then absolutely. But since I don't have any of those things and I'm not willing to uh, to uh, go, you know, full sauce mode. And I, again, if you do, that's on you. I'm not saying anything, but I'm not willing to do it. So this is what I'm stuck with. The only thing I regret is that I didn't find this sport so much younger in life. I would have had so much fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it's my first first workout back uh, and like I said in the last video I'm gonna be taking a break from the arm wrestling specific stuff for a little while so it's gonna be a lot of this hope you guys still enjoy please like comment subscribe if you haven't already we will push higher weights but it isn't gonna be PRs probably for at least a little while so I'll talk to you guys in a bit.